It's a Wednesday afternoon and U.S. stocks, they're trading higher as investors continue to take in a ton of economic reports, that of which included industrial production for March showing a greater than expected decline, 0.6%. This following a slight gain in February. Mortgage applications in the morning falling 2.3% from, from the previous week as interest rates ticked up slightly. Also, the Empire Manufacturing Survey showing a contraction in April, weakening for a third straight month as the pace of new orders fell to a multi-year low. And we also had the NAHB housing market index showing a sharp increase to 56 in April, while the Federal Reserve's beige book due out shor shortly, 2 p.m. Eastern. In the Forex market, the U.S. dollar facing some mixed moves this afternoon. The euro dollar 0.44% lower, 10608. The British pound U.S. dollar pair, that's 0.02% higher, 147.83, while the U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair, 0.12% lower, 119.21 yen. Meanwhile, trading central analysts focused on the euro Japanese yen pair as it is posting a rebound and challenging the resistance at 127.30. Short positions below the resistance at 127.30 are favored with targets at an intraday low of 126.05 and 125.25 in extension. Moving on to precious metals, they continue to fall under pressure this afternoon with gold once again in focus as gold has struck against its resistance at 11.97 while also remaining under pressure. The relative strength index is reversing down so as long as one as, uh, as long as 11.97 is the resistance look for a further downside to 11.89 and even 11.8350 in extension and silver that's 0.37 percent higher at a read of 16.22 a troy ounce and don't forget to follow trading central on twitter for all of your forex market updates and for trading central from the cme group floor new york mercantile exchange i'm james swinney